Raise your hand if you've been successfully seduced by Led Zeppelin. Hello and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Aileen Senpai. I'm a streamer on Twitch, an amateur singer, and a lover of all kinds of music. Now, it is no secret. I had the time of my life listening to my last reaction for Led Zeppelin and... You all gave me so much love on that one and so many incredible recommendations. One I kept seeing a lot was a whole lot of love. So that's what we're going to be diving into today. But don't worry if I haven't gotten to your reaction request yet. It's coming as I feel like I was sleeping on Led Zeppelin and I was very much surprised with everything. The whole production, the whole instrumentals, vocals. It was just it was absolutely insane. And I feel like a damn fool for not listening to this a lot sooner. So we got some catching up to do, but if you do enjoy my content, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss my videos ever again. That being said, let's get started with Led Zeppelin's Whole lot of Love. Mm. The bass. Did anyone else catch that? Did he mean? We're talking about inches here. I am now. I'm kind of thinking. I'm putting things together. Out of this, maybe I'm just a dirty-minded person. Because I mean, I, I I will admit that I am. But I don't know. Let me know. Is that about you know you know you know? Anyways, besides the, the dirty-mindedness aside, um, I'm loving the bass so far. That bass is so very prominent, and the drums are interesting. That snare drum is catching my attention. It's so nice. I love the tone on that snare. The way that it's being banged for a lack of better terms I, i'm really loving the way those two are coming together but the guitar of course everything else is so amazing but i'm gonna go back a little maybe i'm just a dirty-minded person but i guess i i'll just i'll just let him do the talking oh, baby, I Yeah! <laughs> <gasps> 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 
different. <laughs> that's a... That's a good drum banging right there. your hand if you've been successfully seduced by Led Zeppelin. I wish there was a poll, a way of finding out how many babies were made to this song. Is anyone in, in the comments a uh, Led Zeppelin whole lot of love baby? Uh, let me know. Uh, this was interesting. I was really not expecting it. I was thinking like whole lot of love, like like tender, embracing, uh, uh, passion, emotion. And it kind of took a turn, but I'm okay with it. We're all adults here. That doesn't bother me whatsoever. I loved that this was in the 70s as well, because you see everyone in the audience and they're just kind of like jamming out. And I am not listening to this in 2023. I'm over here just having the time of my life. And obviously, you know, things were different. And I, I'm also curious if anyone knows, um, because I believe this uh, era, a lot of this music wasn't widely accepted by you know, different generations. Um, but of course, all of the people who grew up with this were huge fans of Led Zeppelin and other music of this time. So I'm also curious because I know the 80s had definitely some like like the, the satanic panic with Slayer and all of that and Thrash just kind of making everyone go into hysterics. But I'm curious as to how this was accepted back in the day. I'm really, really curious. I loved this. I thought this was fantastic. It was so good. It was interesting playing... Um, the banging on the drums, uh, especially in that part when he was uh, doing the uh, simulation of sorts. Um, very, very cool that that was added. I love how there was so much attention to detail in this. This was just so damn exciting. I really, really enjoyed this from start to finish. All of the uh, innuendos aside, I really did enjoy this vocally. This was amazing. I do have a teensy more bit to say, but as always, we're going to analyze this further. So I'm going to stop talking, collect myself, and we're just going to dive right into it. It's taken me three Led Zeppelin songs to become an absolute fan of every single person in this band 
Robert has just this way of just honestly, it's just giving you goosebumps all over. He definitely seduces everyone when he's on stage. He is making love to that microphone in the best way possible. And he is really, truly feeling himself, which I've said this before. You can't be the best version of yourself on stage or in anywhere in work or whatever, in any aspect of your life. If you are not 100% confident and 100% feeling yourself. And what does he do every single time he hits that stage? He delivers. And it is just, it is pure magic. You are in the witness of, you know, some rock legends and I truly enjoyed this from start to finish. And again, I made a couple of notes. I was just so in awe of that tone in the snare drum. I am just, it was just beautiful. It was beautiful. That bass and that snare were just making magic together. They were, for lack of better terms, making love on that stage. And it truly was the perfect recipe. It really did add so much nice, like, bassy tones. And, you know, the snare was just banging all over the place and doing some really nice controlled chaos and you really felt like this whole time you were just didn't know who to focus on am i focusing on robert drums guitar bass it was just like you're in uh, honestly uh, uh, uh like you're feeling like you're going mad almost like your brain is just a little overstimulated but you're along for the ride you're enjoying and you're going on this train full force and i really really did enjoy this very very much more zeppelin coming absolutely I know you all have been so very kind on my last video, sent so many recommendations my way. Trust me, we're going to go through all of those as well. This one was just one of my most requested, so I kind of go on by what the people want. So if you want a certain song next, I would highly recommend you let me know in the comments. I uh, do read those a lot, so those really do set the tone for whatever comes next. So thank you so much for that as well. If you do uh, enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up on it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss my videos again. I do videos every single day on this channel, but if you want to hang out in the meantime, I also live stream on Twitch every Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Let's to get to know you guys a little bit better. We do our very close knit. We talk a lot, play games, and do some live reactions on there as well. But other than that, I'll be back tomorrow with some more music. In the meantime, please take care of yourself. Remember, I love you so, so very much. And on the next one, I'll catch you soon. Bye.